everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex, and welcome back to some more GTA 5, where today I'm in my helicopter above the seas of Los Santos because I want to show you something absolutely amazing. I want to show you a mod that is incredibly simple, but the results are beautiful. It is one file. That is all it is. It's quite deep into what you have to change, but it's one file and it's not a car it's not a script it's not a map although it does change the map sort of it is the ability to change water now this mod adds the ability to change the waves in the water but also changes the opacity of the water it just makes it slightly clearer and what this brings us is this just look at this below us here look at how we can see this amazing reef. It's actually quite hard to see because I am a terrible pilot. You can, it's, it's just I'm, I'm worried about crashing into the sea. But look at this view down here. We can see right underneath the water. Usually this is just a thick blue thing. And the only way you can really see what goes on underwater is if you go underwater. But the only problem is even when you're underwater, it's still quite murky. It's still quite dark. This mod allows us to find some beautiful reefs and some beautiful things that Rockstar have hidden because... Rockstar seem to have even put effort into what it looks like under the water when really not a lot of people go under there that often. And I think that it's just a thing that we, it, we've we missed out on. But this mod allows us to go and explore it a lot better. Look at that. We can see that there's a cliff down there. You can see that there's a little bit of a bulge, a bunch of rocks going on here. All of this stuff is all stuff that Rockstar have placed in. But really, it just goes completely underappreciated. So today, I'm going to go around... And try and find just some cool stuff that we can find under the water. So before all of that, there's going to be some comments and questions on the screen. If you would like your comments and questions featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure8. Links for my Twitter are in the description below. Just look at this. Just look at that nicer color water there mixing in. I don't know if that uh, color change is actually in there in the standard one. But I have noticed. What have we got over here? We just need to get into the other view to see this, I think. I can see... What is that? Just some plant life? That's something you couldn't see before. So there's something underneath there because there's this big set of plants going on. I can see a pipe going on underneath there. Uh, we've got some more rocks. What have we got? There's just so much... To oh, look, there's more of this stuff over here. I guess that's just a huge bunch of seaweed. I don't know if there's anything else down there. As you get to the deeper waters, it's kind of hard to see down. It's only in the really sort of shallow stuff that you can really see. But oh, there might be something under there. But let's just keep going and see what we can find over here. Just trying not to uh, crash into the water. Yeah, there's also the ability to change the waves. I've made the waves slightly more than they should be. There's a huge bunch of options that you can change. Um, different combinations of opacity and wave strength and all that sort of stuff. But I didn't want to make this too choppy because I wanted to be able to see under the water. And of course, we've got this issue with all of the white froth and stuff coming up from the waves. Uh, that I didn't want to have too much. Just look at those rocks there. Just that just looks so pretty and so nice. I think there's some um, the really nice crawls that are better than the stuff that we had just back there. Look at that. We've even got a staggering of the sand on the beach, which is pretty nice. What have we got over here? You can see a lot of the drop-offs and stuff where it goes into the deeper ocean. Oh, wow. Look, we've got some more of that sea uh, seaweed and stuff over there. We've got some more of this. I might get into a jet ski or something, but I think that might be just a bit too slow. I might actually go to just hovering around just so we can see this a bit better. But, oh, look at that. Look how clear that is. That's beautiful. It looks so, so amazing. See, as I said, I didn't turn the waves up because I didn't really want to make that part of the video because I really just wanted to use this. In fact, look, there's a dolphin right there. Can you see that? There's a bit of uh, white in the way now. Let's just try and get closer down. You might not be able to see it because of the sun refracting. Oh, look, there it is. There's the dolphin just swimming around. Ah, oh, that's something that you just totally miss unless they come up above the water, which I don't think I've seen often. Look, it just comes up above the water just there. Apart from that, you never normally see them in this game. But now, look at that. That is fantastic. I love that we could see all that stuff going on. I fact, oh, oh, up, 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 up. That was close. That was close. I was actually pressing the wrong button at the start there. I'm wondering why it wasn't going up. I thought those seagulls were sunning for a minute there, but nope, that's just a bunch of seagulls hovering above the sea. So we've got a bunch of seaweed. We've got some more rocks and stuff going on underneath there. I think there is actually some secret stuff around here because I'm pretty sure I've pulled some sort of uh, some sort of secret thing from around here somewhere I remember doing a few months ago when I was playing the storyline a bit. 
And I can see there's a bunch more stuff. There's a whole of the uh, island that we can see. So far, we've looked at, like, what, this stretch here? And that's it. We've got all of this to go up here. All this round here. In fact, I haven't even spotted most of this map over here. All of this stuff round here. All of that. And also, which I might check in a minute, this little uh, bit here. Because I wonder what that looks like underneath. We haven't looked at that underneath because you can't really see it because it's quite a murky water. Look at that. We've also got some stuff going on over there. I mean, if that was a bit higher, that could be an island. In fact, that's a curious thing. I think the only other way to really appreciate the sea is to get some sort of mod that changes the water level. But then it's a bit silly because you're just missing all the water. Whereas this, it just like it could possibly just be this clear. I mean, not really because this is this is LA and definitely doesn't have water this clear. But you could imagine that it did. So I just think that this is a really good opposite way of doing that. Instead of like controlling the water to see underneath, you can just do it by clearing the water out. I don't think there's going to be anything in the swamp land, but let's just go and have a look over here. Maybe there'll be some sort of hidden hole or something that we've just never noticed before. Here we go over the freeway. All the cars are black. I think it's because I haven't turned up my um, draw distance for all that sort of stuff to see stuff in the sky. Okay, there's a lot of repeating textures here that I think Rockstar, obviously, they didn't put a lot of effort into because I guess that's supposed to be muddy water and stuff. So, yeah, the swamp land doesn't look so great. You can see where they've cheated with the textures and stuff where it's just repeating. So I'm going to try and speed it up now and see if we can find something because around here it just seems to be a lot of just rock and nothing else. I know that that um, seaweed back there, I think, denoted that there was actually something hidden underneath. But obviously that was hidden by all the seaweed and stuff, so we're not going to see that very well. In fact, now that we're getting too high, all the draw distance stuff is going down. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could change this in the settings to see if we can get this. Oh, it's popped in now, but maybe we can get it so it's even clearer. Okay, so there is actually the high detail streaming while flying that I didn't have on, which is probably why that popping was happening. So I'm going to turn that on. And just see what happens. I mean, I don't normally have everything on because, um, although I can, it just dips slightly under uh, 60 all the time, which I didn't want because these videos are in 60 FPS. What's that over there? Is that just some more seaweed or is that more stuff going on? I can see some stuff in the water. I think that's just seaweed. Yeah, there's some seaweed, but there's also like a little, little bit of rock going on under there. Could be like a former island or something if you want to go into the lore. I just, I, just I, I love this game, especially when you find something like this where you can discover something that you haven't really experienced before. I mean, like this? What the hell's this? Just a random thing that you wouldn't really see otherwise. In fact, I think you can sort of get that with the murky water, but not as clear as this. You can really get a load of the detail with this thing. Okay, so I'm going to pick up speed now that I've got this. Now that everything's popping in, actually, this is so much better because we can actually see all of the detail. But I don't think there's much in the way of all the coral reefs and stuff around here. I think we might have to go a bit further out. Look at that, we've even got some lines. I don't know whether that's where they've cheated the levels and stuff and you're not supposed to see that, but I actually think it looks pretty cool, especially we can see the lighter blue. It's really picturesque. It looks awesome. There's some more seaweed we've got on the left, but nothing in the way of coral reefs that I can see. But what I do know from what I have tested is that all the plant life that is in this is not actually this bear underneath. I don't know if I'll be able to land. Let me just try and land down here right on the tip. If we was to go down, just look at the detail here. You really don't appreciate that when the water is all murky and solid colored. When it's just this clear, you just get a much better feel for all the stuff they've done. But if you go underwater, it only spawns certain plant life when you're underwater, which is a huge shame. It would be really nice if we could have seen that stuff through the water. I don't know if that's something in my graphic settings. I might check this out in a minute. And if I just go for a quick dip in the ocean, you'll see exactly what I mean about plant life. So you see there's nothing there now, but if you go underneath, in fact, there we go. Look, there's a bunch of plant life there that you can see. See if we just get out to this plant life where there's actually some beautiful looking thing. Oh, look, if, imagine if we could see this from the air. All of these nice colors. But we do have the issue where it's just clear. In fact, actually, we can see it now. So maybe that's to do with the draw distance. Maybe we shouldn't have been up in the helicopter. Do you know what? I'm going to switch over to a jet ski now just to see if we can find some coral reefs. Okay, so I've got the Blazer Aqua, and I'm going to address what a lot of you guys told me when I did the video on this. Because I, like, quickly passed through this, because I was mostly just trying to show the, uh, the water pickup truck. Is that this does indeed have the ability for the wheels to fold in, which makes it into a fast jet ski. I didn't know at the time. The only problem when I play with single player is you don't get told all the extra buttons and features of these cars. Uh, so you just sort of have to guess, and it's the sort of thing that... When I did that video, it was so new... 
that it wasn't even on most websites because it didn't bother to mention it because online it's obvious it's right there the button like comes up on screen and tells you what it is but you don't get that in single player so yeah that is a detail i messed up and mixed so if we try and ignore all this white foamy stuff i'm going to try and block it out because it's, it's very awkward when you're trying to look through it here we go <laughs> it's just white but you can see so much more of the plant life under there there are some parts where it doesn't spawn i mean i didn't give you a very good example but there is definitely a lot of plant life that you don't see that only spawns when you're actually under the water i mean i've got to be honest we don't get such a wide view anymore so we do miss out on maybe some cool rock formations but we've seen a lot of that I just want to try and find something like a coral reef or something like that. In fact, what I'm also trying to hope to find is some sort of like abandoned ship or sunken ship or something like that. Because I'm pretty sure we have stuff like this in this game, but haven't spotted anything so far. Oh, look at that. Ooh, what was that over there? Is that a line? Hang on. I might have to get underneath for this. I hope this thing isn't going to just fly away. Or not fly away, but float away. Oh, look at that. See, look. There are so many more plants that you miss when you are above the water. It's a shame it doesn't spawn it all in. I don't think there is anything down there. But this is what I mean. Look, look how blurry and stuff this is. You don't get to appreciate it as much as when you're up above the sea level. Okay, I can see this thing moving away really quickly. I better jump back on before I lose it. Okay, so I've been going around for a while trying to find something. And I've just spotted these guys under the water. Look at this. These are sharks. If we just jump on and have a look down here. Oh my god, there are a bunch of sharks. <laughs> This is amazing. So they have sharks and dolphins in this game, which is absolutely amazing. I think they're coming up to say hi. They can't kill me because I am invincible for this, because otherwise I'd get so annoyed with dying all the time. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. That is a cool little uh, feature there. You don't really spot that that much, because this is not the place where you should go. There's no roads and stuff around here. This is just a really underappreciated part of the map. So that's what I like about this mod. It just... it. It makes you do something different in the game. You're not just driving around. You're not just checking out a map. You're you're actually just investigating what's already there. You're just trying to find the new stuff that Rockstar has put in that was just hidden before. Okay, I've just, I think I've just rode past a dolphin right here. Oh, there he is. There he is right there. If we can get close. Oh my God, look at that. We are so close to that dolphin right now. He's like not even bothered about the fact that we're here. In fact, we just hit it. That's ridiculous. Did I just kill it? Did I just, I think I just killed it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Have I just genuinely killed that dog? Oh, no, I can... No, I have killed it! Oh, my God, no! I just killed the dolphin! Oh, no, come on. I tapped it, and it that's it. Just dead on the bottom of the ocean floor. Oh, that is tragic. That is so tragic. I did not mean to just kill a dolphin. Oh, my God. This is... So <laughs> ridiculous right i'm gonna have one last peruse around this island because i want to try and find some sort of secret sunken boat or something like that there has to be something hidden under here because there's there's like all the hidden stuff you have to find i'm sure rockstar would have hidden something somewhere right let me go around and see if i can find something to finish oh is that a dolphin or a shark i wonder if we can kill the shark this time there's a shark hang on is he gonna get to the surface can i knock it is that going to kill it or is he just going to go away? I wonder if I can actually kill this thing now. Wait, I knocked him. I think. Did I knock it? No, okay. He's he's swimming away. There's... Oh, what's that over there? There's a bit of... Is that metal? Oh, there's actually something under there. You just can't really see it that much because of all of the thing. Oh, there is actually metal here. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of stuff around here. There's what's this over here. I can see a bunch of... Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There is something. There is something. Oh my god, hang on. I don't know what the hell this is. This looks like a boat. Let me jump out and have a look here. So let me just go and... <gasps> There's a boat under here. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not going mad. There is actually boats and stuff under here. I had heard of stuff, but I hadn't really explored the water all that much. So what was that thing we was looking at over here? Oh yeah, here it is. It's like some sort of jetty or a crane or something. Oh my god. Oh my god, that freaked me out. <laughs> you got to remember, it can't kill us. It can't kill us because I've got unlimited health. It's not even bothering to attack us. Oh, my God. There's like a, a crane. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff under here. This is amazing. Is this... Oh, actually, I can see a red mark on my map. Oh, I guess that is actually that zomb uh, zombie. Zombie? <laughs> or that shark, rather. It's definitely not a zombie. 
I can't use... Well, apparently it says I can use a baseball bat underwater, but I don't know. Can I punch it? Here we go. Just try and look at it and punch. No. Missed. <laughs> yeah, not going to be punching a shark. I don't think that's going to happen. I want to go inside this thing because there must be a way to get inside. This is amazing. Look at this. Let's just go all the way down here. I mean, you've got to have mods and stuff for this to get unlimited breathing because it's going to be so awkward trying to investigate this and having to keep coming up for air. Oh, look, we can actually go down the stairs and inside. Oh, no, is that inside? Oh, no, actually, we're still on the outside. How do we get in? There must be a way to get in, or is this actually just a solid thing to look at? Maybe we could just get in the easy way just through the top. Maybe there's just a simple way in. Mind you, there is, like, a hole in the side, so I guess that must be the way... Oh, look, here we go. Oh, my God. This is amazing. I mean, we can see it from the air, but now that we've seen it from, like, above, now we know where it is so we can go down and investigate. I think there might be some secret stuff down here. These look like the sort of containers that inside would have some... Oh, no, there's something here. What's that? There's something flashing. So let me turn around. It's really awkward to control this. Here we go. What is this? Wish you would get down there. Down. Down. Is that, uh... That looks like armor. That's armor. Huh. I did not expect to find something like that down here. There must be something else. Maybe there's some sort of secret... Maybe I've already picked it up. I mean, I've had this game for so long. Maybe I picked it up and just not... Oh, no, there's a, there's a gun in here. What the hell? Okay, so there was a gun and some armor. There must be something secret around here, but I, I can't see anything else, I don't think. Nothing there. There's a bunch of containers, though. I think we could explore this place for ages. Oh, I just collected something else. No idea what it was. Didn't even see it. I'm sure you guys probably just spotted that and would let me know. I'll probably see it in the uh, when I'm editing. There's a thing that we can get in from the top. Oh, God, it's so hard to control. No, it's actually close from the top. Well, there we go. How about that? We did manage to find... I didn't... How far did we get? We got to here, so I didn't even see this whole entire area. So there might be something in this bit that I just didn't spot. Oh, we were going to go look over here, weren't we? Right, let's have a quick look. I know this has gone on way longer than I expected, but it's just been so fun having a look around. Is it actually another bit of boat over there? It's completely split. Oh, it was a cargo ship as well. Oh, there's something else flashing. What's this over here? It's a medical box. First aid. How about that? Well, we don't need that. We've got full health. That's brilliant, though. It's a cargo ship that actually has some spill cargo with some stuff to pick up. Okay, so to end this, I'm going to be a bit cheeky, and I'm just going to use some mods just to have a look around at what's underneath. But so far, I can see an abandoned boat, which is pretty cool. We can see the remnants of a jetty. What else have we got on here? Let's go right to the middle so you can see. Oh, you can just see all the rocks. But just that just looks so beautiful as well. I mean, if we go into here, I don't think there is anything in this lake. Maybe there is. Maybe there's, like, some secret boat that I've just never known about. But I can't see anything. It's all just pretty much rock and stuff. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. There is a plane, which is good God. Look how murky and stuff that is. Look at that. You can actually see a whole plane under here. That is so cool. I had no idea this was here. It's actually got the... That bit's all broken up, so I guess we can actually go down and go into the plane. I can see some flashing stuff. There's two bits of flashy stuff that I can see already. At least you can see the stuff that's hidden by the fact that it flashes. I don't know what that is. Is that... Oh, that's another piece of armor. And then I think the other bit might just be like a bit of first aid kit or something. Oh, no, it's over here. There's... What is that? Oh, it's like some um, sticky charges. That's pretty cool. I don't know if this um, stuff that's hidden is the same as online. I don't know if you can go underneath here and find the same thing. But look at that. There is a plane just completely ripped in half. There's something else underneath here as well. What is this? That's a gun as well. I mean, why there's a gun in this abandoned plane, I'm not entirely sure. But look at that. We can actually go through the entire hull of the plane absolutely amazing this is so cool i love this this is something that i wouldn't have found without this mod because i just it's not the sort of thing i would go looking for i don't go under the water all that much in this game i've done it for the missions and stuff in the story mode but other than that i've not really done that so this mod has really opened it up to me and showed me some amazing stuff that is all this stuff that rockstar put into this game that you would otherwise never see look at that a rocket launcher What's that over there? Is that another rocket launcher? That's a... No, that is one of those... Um, what is it called? It's a rail gun. Oh my god, there's even a rail gun under here. Well, if you're in single player and you're not using mods and stuff and you need to get some weaponry, come down here. Just make sure that you've got enough air because 
I if it wasn't for mods I'd probably be dead by now because I'll be drowning but there we go guys that is it thank you all so much for watching I'd love for you guys to let me know if there's other sort of things that you found underwater maybe I, maybe there's a bunch more stuff that I haven't found I would love for you guys to let me know in the comment section but that is it for today thank you so much for watching I'll put a link in the description where you can get this mod I would highly recommend it just for the fact that it looks amazing uh, is that already respawned again that's a great way to get a lot of weaponry and stuff like that if it respawns that fast. Not that I can really swim towards it though. My swimming abilities are absolutely terrible. The only reason I'm actually playing as Trevor is because he was the better flyer for when I was in the helicopter earlier. Uh, if he actually Is it just helicopters he's better with or is it helicopters and planes? Not entirely sure. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>